Do you want to learn how to connect with your spirit guides? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. Hi, I am Ea Torado. I am an energy healer and a dance artist. For today, I'm just going to teach you a very, very simple technique, you know, wherein you could access some information from your spirit guides. But first, before we begin, what are spirit guides? In the esoteric, healing, mystic communities, we hear a lot of uh, angels and spirit guides. And we also know already that there are psychics, there is HSP, there is Sixth Sense, wherein there are people, maybe they were born with these gifts, wherein they have extrasensory abilities to talk to, to commune with those who are in the spirit world. That's all true. But also at the same time, having this HSP, this extrasensory, this intuitive ability, you know, to connect with the spirit world is something that we all have. And it's coming from the belief that everyone has a soul or a spirit. You know, maybe some people, you know, could just call it God or just a general, you know, energy field. But the main idea is that in this energy field, where it's a quantum field and it's a magnetic field and we are all electromagnetic beings, you know, and that field it is not bound by time or space. We can just simply do the act of, number one, sitting in what feels like a genuine prayer or asking your own spirit guides. Spirit guides, connect with me. I need to hear your guidance. I need to know some more information um, about this topic or this theme or this aspect of my life. It's almost like asking for a friend to sit down with you and give you some advice. Now, the idea is also that our spirit guides have kind of hung out with us many times in the spirit world wherein we were a soul body before we landed again in this reincarnation wherein we're very physical. So in a sense, those spirit guides that we do have, they know us very, very, very well and that um, they're very loving and sometimes uh, for some of us, they may be our teachers in that realm or ascended masters or maybe they're really our best friends or something like that. Even in this physical plane, in this 3D reality where we are now existing, sitting in meditation and just being in genuine prayer to connect with them and ask them a question or ask them to, I want to feel you. I want to know that you're real and I want some help in this area of my life. Give me a sign. That's the first step to connect with your spirit guide. And then step number two is to trust. Ooh, this is, it may seem like a very simple word, but trust is a big thing, you know. Um, when you were still starting to get into this practice of connecting to the spirit world and connecting with your guides, in the beginning, it takes a little bit of practice to get to that mode wherein you're fully opening your heart space, your body, and even your energetic field to receive information from your own spirit guides. Sometimes they could come in the form of gut instinct or just that deep knowing. Sometimes, especially for those of you who have been in this practice for quite some time, or maybe you're doing it professionally like me, when I channel messages from spirit guides of clients and, and actually um, deliver that to them and translate that for them. So step two is allowing your body to be porous and open um, to receive the information and transmission from the spirit guides. Sometimes you would really feel it in a very sensory place. Sometimes it's a smell or a taste, or you could just have a vision or an image, or a song turns on on the radio, or a white feather just falls out of nowhere. But these are clues that your spirit guides are, are talking to you, are communing with you, are giving you signs. And so I just want to say that it could also take practice because in the beginning, you'll have that sort of, uh, am I just talking back to myself? Am I just answering myself back from the question that I ask my spirit guides? And it's fine, that's normal. Again, this is something like other muscles takes practice and through time you can hone. Step number three, and this is the last but also very crucial step. It's very important to also, for you, especially if you're beginning, take out a notebook and a pen, you know, or maybe use your laptop and just give yourself, you know, set the alarm maybe for 10 minutes after you have done that meditation of being in genuine prayer and asking for a message or direction from your spirit guide, get into free writing mode and, and allow yourself to write fast because that's when, you know, transmissions could come to you and, and that you can lay it all out on the page. Afterwards, rest, breathe, 
and then read what you have written. Sometimes the messages from the Spirit Guides could come through writing. You know, that is something that would be a good and fun way, but also an easy way for you to hone this practice of connecting with your Spirit Guides and hearing what they want to tell you, the messages, the transmissions that they want to give to you. All right, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for listening to this. Please leave a comment below. I am always connected and loved by my spirit guides. If you resonated with the tips that I shared in this video, also I have a wellness retreat coming up in La Union. You can also hit me up for a private session. And as well as I'm on Patreon, if you want to support me and also be supported by an online group community, and there on Patreon, I give Dalai Movement Meditation every month. I give Tarot Reading. I give Q&As and other fun stuff. So, thank you so much for watching. Again, hit like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell. Again, leave a comment below. And um, I send you so much love.